Before I start, I hope you are safe and okay during this pandemic. I would also like to thank all the people in the health field, but also food production and retail, and finally cleaning and trash removal for the job you have all kept on doing while most of us were asked to stay home. Thank you. For the last month, I have been working on a project about plastic bottles. If you've been following my work for a while, you know I like to use trash or found objects as the base of my sculptures. Somewhere end of 2019, I had the idea to pour some acrylic paint over one of them. Black acrylic paint, to be more precise. You have to know that I have some leftover wall paint from the room I painted last year at Dedal, where I live. I don't really have much use for that wall paint, as I don't do murals on commission and I don't really do murals as a whole. So that specific wall paint has just been waiting around in my studio, waiting for me to have some inspiration to do something with it. So end of 2019 and I had that idea with the black paint on top of the bottle and I liked it so much that I thought why not make a whole rainbow out of it. I believed it would be fun to pour one different color on different plastic bottles I had gathered over months and ended up with bright candy-like plastic bottles. And at that time, to be honest, I had no real idea yet to do what to do with them. At some point, I even thought about doing uh, huge sculptures with all the bottles together and growth on top. But then I decided against it because it would take just too much time and it would be too difficult to ship back and forth and impossible to showcase. So they lie around my studio for a while and fast forward 2020 and I have found a subject for each bottle. Now the core idea of this project is to highlight how wasteful our societies are, but also to point towards one of the biggest myths of contemporary history, that plastic is somehow eco-friendly because it can be recycled. That could not be further from the truth. Plastic can actually only be recycled if you add new plastic to it. So you can never go full circle in terms of recycling. The second issue is that it simply cannot be recycled more than just a few times. After that, the internal structure is just way too weak. Most plastic are in fact not even recycled, most because of financial reasons, but also some because it's just technically not possible. Of course, nowadays there are a lot of new packaging options out there, but I think the root of the problem is the excess of packaging and also the excess of, let's just be honest here, useless industrial food that is sold packaged like flavored sugar water or palm oil cookies. Plastic is actually an interesting material and extremely useful in some fields, like hospitals, for instance. It's actually so widely used that you can find it all around you all the time. Just take a look around your room. You have plastic on your walls, in your windows, in your electronics, on your pencils, even in your furniture. Heck, you probably have some plastic on yourself as well, between the beauty products or the clothes you're wearing. Along the excessive energy consumption we all practice, we are thus completely addicted to plastic. And even if you try to avoid it, it's near impossible as it's literally 
everywhere. So yes, at the core my work is less about plastic itself, but about the excessive and reckless consumption of today's society. Because that excess has a direct, very real and tangible effect on our environment, and ultimately on ourselves. Changing the way we consume is certainly a great way to start the change, but we also need deeper, more systemic change. I hope we can manage it before we hit the wall full force. Don't get me wrong, I am far from being perfect myself, and I will not try to justify my choices. Some are not ideal, and I know that just all too well. But I believe it's about the long run. We can all make better choices without being pure or self-righteous about it. An accumulation of everyone's efforts can produce a more global change. Never forget that all revolutions have started from the bottom. On that note to ponder about, I will leave you with a little recording I did of the rainbow bottles. I have not recorded the whole process of each and every bottle, but I do still hope this will bring you some joy and hopefully something to think about.
thank you so much for watching and listening to me. And I wish you a very lovely day. Bye.